playing this one. I don't know if I did. You know what Biggest milk carton to bring. <laughs> so we have just come out um, to a uh, to the woods for a lovely walk, and we thought we would try and record our fire maple video for the third time. Third time lucky, they say, what time? Third time's the charm? 
Yeah. Um, every time we've done it previously, um, which was on our winter trip up in Scotland, the wind and the weather was not on our side. So we couldn't actually, um, you couldn't hear us, could you? So we're trying it again. So we've just made a cup of tea and we've got some um, chocolate caramel shortcakes. Um, and we're going to give it a go again. So we're just going to talk to you a little bit about the fire maple, <clears throat> what it is, how it works, how we use it. Um, and that's it really, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> Yum. <laughs> Are they yummy? Add a bit of text over there. Waited for Brandon to finish stuffing his gob. <laughs> So here we have the Fire Maple FMS X2. It's um, one of four different ones that they make. Um, they all come in different sizes. We ended up choosing this one because it has the largest boiling capacity at one liter. Um, it just, so how it comes is, let me just turn that off. So it comes all in a self-contained, it all fits within this and then you just buy these disposable self-sealing gas canisters to go with it. Um, essentially what you have is you have a like, stabilizing bracket, so that, because it's, when it's, I'll show you in a minute, it's top heavy. Um, so that fits onto the gas bottle. You have the burner fit onto here. That just screws on. Another thing that's great with this one is it has a um, remote ignition, like a uh, button start, so you don't need to carry matches. That must burn so hot because you just can't see it. No. <laughs> and then this you fill with your water. We've got a bit of uh, tea left over. And then that just goes onto there and that will boil, boil your water in about 90 seconds which is absolutely brilliant for stopping at the side of a trail. But you can, um, it's not just good for like making drinks and things, you can cook um, like, like dehydrated food. Yeah, or like, um, you know, you get like your hiking meals, don't you? So you can cook those or like- Or even something as simple as a pot noodle. Pot noodle. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm actually gonna do is just take that off. Don't want another tea deep. Mm -hmm. So yes, when you're done, oh, also with the kit, you get this little adapter. So this actually all, it's got rusty, all folds out. And then you can fit this on here. And then that will allow you to put any kind of frying pan on there and cook kind of, I Anything. would say normal food. Hmm. But yeah, and then, so that's that. We've seen people do like, um like cook bacon on it, like do toasties and mm. things. Um, you, I suppose you could pair that with the Ridge Monkey. Yeah, you could. You could bring your Ridge Monkey out, which has got all the tools in it, and then, yeah, cook yourself a toasty or something. Yeah, so then dismantling it, that all just screws off there. Drops into there, and then that drops in there. Now, gas canisters, you can get smaller ones. So you can get, you know, like little short ones that then fit in there as well but because these are the big ones because they're cheaper <laughs> and i bought these in a six pack um they don't fit in there so you do have to carry that separately so if you were tight on space you could get the smaller buy the smaller ones, ones cause they do last quite a while that doesn't it feel has lasted as a while well, we boiled probably 10 cups 10 pots off that and it's like doesn't even feel empty mm. but then yeah that drops drops in there lid goes on and then you have this uh, like a button release on the handle that folds up a little safety catch there you go all good to go and it comes with um you can pick your design of what because it's got like a what yeah, it i like think a, it's called neoprene to stop like if you touch it yeah so that doesn't that doesn't get hot you can hold that but that's like a neoprene cover like um, what you get on coffee cups isn't it yes but you can pick your design um, and it actually comes with spare ones so you can wash it and use and abuse them um yeah change them over and then it all comes in a little fire maple bag. I forgot about that. <laughs> Not that you exactly need that, but... No. But then, just off like that one little package. That's a bit of a sec. 
So just off of that, you can, where you're out and about, cook yourself food or a hot drink in minutes, can't you? Yeah. And just, yeah, easily fit from your backpack. It's great, really. It seems to be a great bit of kit so far, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, what's that say? Oh, it says your label. Your mobile kitchen. Your mobile kitchen. We, we bought it, um, what, three or four weeks ago now? Yeah. Um, because we went up to Scotland and did the NC500 road trip. Um, we've actually got um, some YouTube videos on that as well, so be sure to check those out. And we bought it for that. We thought um, it might help us get out a little bit more because I feel like, you know, we go back to the van and sit in the van and have a cup of tea or make lunch, and it's it's nice because it gets us out even we more. We do become, it? yeah, with the van, you become quite content at like having everything in the van. Every, everything <laughs> in the van and just trying to go, you know, camping can quite soon become yeah. you know or you sit in the van with your tv on and you actually don't spend a lot of time outdoors no when actually it's really nice so like when we was doing the nc500 we would pull up go on go um go somewhere on a walk like go to the beach or like go to go see a waterfall and it's like an hour a couple of hours and we can set out and enjoy the views and stuff can't we mm. um, and we found we didn't even go to like any coffee shops or cafes no, or anything did we so we were able just to, I think we went to one. So we were, we did the NC500 road trip in 11 days, was it? Yeah. And we did one, we went to one cafe to get a hot chocolate on the way back. And it was just because we wanted to go to that cafe, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but otherwise, we didn't spend anything. We just enjoyed making a hot drink. Yeah, we did teas, and, coffees, yeah. hot chocolates, all of it. We're still yet to try um, food. The, the food, like the dehydrated food. And but we have got some to try. Yeah, we just need to get out and, yeah. We'll do another video when we do that for the first time, I think. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. But yeah. So we're just going to finish up here, finish our teas, and then... Um, get packed up and move get on. Get packed up and move on. <laughs>